I mean, he is a hippogriff, and people really like him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He spends an entire year's worth of savings on a single arcade game. No. I mean, <laughs> Button Mash I took, would do that. I took Riley's savings. Either yeah. way. And now Riley doesn't have any savings. <laughs> well, that's not my problem, is it? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> um, the bitch. answer... To answer Kuba the Changeling's question, I have heard of Saga, but I don't care for it. I don't know anything about it. So. Oh yeah, Golden, you want to hear something funny about uh, what my dad used to do when we go to arcades? Alright, go ahead. He would spend an entire, like, two hours at one of those arcade places, like, either doing Deal or No Deal, or, like, the one where you drop the coins in the little, um, thing that pushes all the other coins down and gives you tickets. Dude, oh. uh, those no, no, he those are like so gambles. Many hours doing those, and I'm like, so in other words, to your area to play games. <laughs> so in other words, your dad's very much into the gambling systems. He, so Pretty he's got a gambling too. problem. <laughs> I mean, at least he's not gambling money away. That's the but good thing. He, but then he like questions me when I'm playing Guitar Hero at um at the arcade places. I'm like, because I'm actually playing a game that I like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm not gonna tell gambling. <laughs> Shogun, let me tell you about something about Guitar Hero. My cousin played Guitar Hero 3 so many times, he can look away from the screen playing through the fire and flames. Oh, he's oh, one dear. of those people. Oh, God. I, I, well, no, because he he actually he started playing guitar because of Guitar Hero. I mean... That's cool. So many I mean, people cool. Like, I mean, I know people really like to use that song as a meme. Well, I mean, yeah, it was a very fast-paced song. It's the hardest song in the Guitar Hero history. Oh, oh guys, look in the one. background. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jesus! Um, the one time the I the fuck out of there! I played it for like so long that I actually ended up accidentally breaking the, the arcade game. Oh. <laughs> and my dad's like, Ooh. no, you're, you're getting away from this machine now. I'm like, what? I didn't That's do such a hypocritical thing to think about! <laughs> He's like, you broke the arcade machine. I'm like, and you haven't broken a machine before, Dad? No. <laughs> like, we're gonna walk away, and we're just gonna walk away very fast, and nobody's... <laughs> Okay, I have to ask, is my voice too quiet to you guys? No. No. Okay, because... We like, can hear you fine in the Discord, call. Okay, because... Eh, never mind. Oh. Oh. Bully oh. him! <laughs> Bully him! <laughs> hey, Riley, I'm low on lives. Can I borrow some quarters? <laughs> no, you're not! Oh. You're not low on lives, Riley. So I'm I'm a... <laughs> I have only um, 232 lives. Man, uh, thinking, thinking of like the old arcade games, though. So, I, I was uh, such a shit kid growing up. Spot. Like, I was such a fucking awful little fucking brat. Like, like no joke. Like, I was one of those kids that kind of cried for everything. Uh, and, and like, you know, my parents, they're like, okay, we'll give you a quarter, and that's it. We're not giving you any more. You're not going to cry for more, right? No, I won't. And then I'd get the countdown over. No, I need to record. It's like, no, we told you no. It was like. And I remember. I You're think I was still like. Live? Good lord, how much punishment? I, I does know. It how take? much of a beating can this guy take? Seriously, get up. How is he still going? How but like, are you one doing of the things that kind of stuck living? with me, like in a dumb way is, uh, like, I laugh at it now, was, uh, the Pizza Hut in one of the towns I grew up near, they had, like, you know, arcade machines there, right? Like, they oh, would man, have, like... in the wrong direction. There we go. <laughs> I'm so focused like they on pressing the buttons that I can't even, like... Like, I'm not even, like, yeah. half the time I'm not even aware. Oh, I'm just hitting air. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the Pizza Hut in one of the towns I grew up near, like, you know, they would have, like, the Ninja Turtles arcade game or, like, the Simpsons, whatever, right? Uh -huh. And I remember this one time that I, like, my parents gave us two quarters while we were waiting for pizza to get done, and we went through them, Ow. and while the countdown was going, I was trying to get more quarters for my mom and dad, and they were like, no. And I was like, no, but the timer's gonna run out, we're gonna have to start over! And I, like, fucking cried and, like, almost made a scene, yeah. and... Sometime afterwards, it was probably like weeks or a couple months afterward, that Pizza Hut no longer had arcade machines there. 
Oh. And, then, and there was a there was a part of me that wondered, was I responsible for that? <laughs> I get uh, little kid imaginations. Because a lot of arcade games have time limits. Well, it wasn't that. It was like you would like you would die and then the countdown would go like, oh crap, I need to get another quarter for a countdown yeah. zero. And it's like Yeah, that's a like, mood. Something that I've realized recently when going to like like Mountain Mike's Pizza or even Straw Hat on a regular basis sometimes with my family, they don't have those um racing games anymore in the arcade area. That's weird. Hmm. Like, I remember my grandma was like, oh, maybe to learn how to drive, you should play that again. And I'm like, no. like the last time I played that, I was six, and I kept running over kangaroos. You really want me to drive again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my I'm favorite like, arcade I'm like, game. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was like, and I was like, grandma, you also realize I almost wrecked your car learning how to drive in a parking lot, so no. <laughs> so do you really want me to drive in real life? Come on. <laughs> See, no. I, I only played like two games at the oh, arcade. Again. Actually, no, yeah. three: Gauntlet, Dark Legacy, no. yes. Plinko Machines, and Hydro Thunder. Okay. Oh, Hydro Thunder was, was the best. Amazing. Hydro Thunder. I will say, from my uh. experience, when it came to arcade games, um, we, uh, my family used to have like a yearly tradition where we go to Vegas, and apparently it's down now. But uh, back uh, over there, they had Game Works. Which was an underground basement, or like an arcade, like a base. Uh, yeah, it's an arcade basement, where if you register, like if you pay for a certain amount, you get like a card that has about yeah. an hour to two hours worth of like whatever games you want to play. Uh huh. And it's just like there were so many to choose from. Oh God, I keep getting frozen. Same. There is, there God, is. Let me get uh, out of this place. There is a, there is a place that exists today, um, called Galloping Ghost Arcade, and I think it's in Illinois or. Oh, I'm getting it, bullied. It's not too far from where I live. Like it's like a couple hours drive, and I want to go there because it's one of those arcades that like, like this guy, the the guy who owns it, like collects these machines and everything and it's like you pay like five to ten bucks and then you could play any machine for free yeah exactly like, that like you can play yeah. any game with the card for a certain amount of time and it was yeah. packed. like the place was filled with a lot of people um one of the other things that i always love doing or like playing like even to this day despite you know any kind of arcade game out there i always come Yay! back to playing either miss pac-man or galica you know those old old ones Oh yeah. Uh, I, Ms. Pac-Man was always a superior game. Yeah, I mean, everyone's and, gotta and, agree with that. And funny story, like, okay, I think a lot of you already know this if you've seen my Las Vegas vlog video. It, Mac, uh, like Max and I, we were on our, um, we were at our, uh, we were at our Vegas trip, and we went to an arcade place, and we went there all the time. And dead ass, we focused on playing uh, Space Invaders <laughs> with their gun uh, setup. It was like oh, a, wow. it was a rail shooter one, and I'm just like. We we had so much tism going on there. It was ridiculous. We made so many tickets just by playing that. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, Hydro Thunder was always what? the big one for me though. Like, oh god, I love I love playing that machine. Ow. I know like another Oh oh god. I know, like, another arcade game that kind of sticks out is, like, the original RoboCop arcade game, the... I am! Where are you, you son of a bitch? Hold still! Say that. Damn it. Damn it! Stop! <laughs> You're trapping my friends in a bubble here? What are you, Tyrek? You little. <laughs> no, because I remember Twilight's Kingdom, yeah. Tyrek summoned them, and they were all trapped in individual bubbles, which is really weird. But. Bubbles. Yeah, not the kind of bubbles you want. Fucking bubbles! Just this... reminded of the fact. Go ahead. Just reminded of the fact that we finally got Krang in a movie, and it was that second Bay movie, and he was voiced by. The same VO that, um... Oh, God. 
trying to remember his name. I know, like, other characters he's done. He usually has, like, a deep voice. Um, God damn it. I had it in my oh head, too. Oh, my God. This is, like... God, dude, he's being such an overkill. Take care of the mouse so they don't blow up. He was the same guy that played, like, Raymond's brother from Everybody Loves Raymond. Like, he was that guy, like... Oh, uh, Brad, uh, Brad, uh... Yeah, Brad, Brad something, like... Get... Mm. I don't know who you're talking about, but I'm blanking on the name for some reason. Yeah, but he voiced Raymond. Krang in, uh... In the... Brad Garrett! Thank you. Brad Thank Garrett, you guys, that's it. Yep. Yeah, he voiced Krang in the second movie. Ah, bunch of these things. Oh, he's getting, ah. yeah, you gotta, you gotta destroy them before they blow up. Yeah, he just poops all over them. And something I, I want to, I want to get like an emulator or something set up. Oh, yeah. Uh, because I've always wanted to play the like Capcom, uh, Aliens oh, versus Predator arcade game. Yeah. That uh, oh, has, uh, from I, I actually like. I wanted to, um, because I wanted to try the uh, the Konami Aliens game. Oh yeah, that one, that's a fun one. No, that's something that I would love to like. If like if I were to, if I were to, I would give a uh, Bliss the invite because she's a huge fan of Alien. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Right. So, uh, what happened to Krang? He died. He got turned into chicken. <laughs> he got turned into chicken. Oh. Like uh, Ryza. Uh -oh. oh, there he is. Okay, good. Uh, really I was about to say, I'm gonna turn Ryza into Run chicken! Twitter, man. We need you. He's got a lightsaber? Dude, he's a yeah, Jedi. Jedi. Sure, they went in the future. Lightsaber. Okay, I was bear. I the was all franchise. Bully him! I was also watching a video a while back about, um, what was it? About how Chuck E. Cheese is apparently going bankrupt, or they're at the verge of bankruptcy? Yeah. I mean, at this day and age, yeah, like... Yeah. Well, like, according to the video that I saw, it was done by a guy named Bright Sun, Fil um, Bright Sun Films. He usually does videos on, like, shipwrecks, or, like... Mostly shipwrecks and stuff that was either abandoned or like went bankrupt. Uh huh. And in his Chuck E. Cheese video, he says that the he feels that the reason Chuck E. Cheese kind of fell out of you know out, out of public eye was because they kind of lost the plot of what it means to be a fun place for kids. Like if you look at recent photos, they kind of basically pulled the cringy, simplify everything, and make everything technological instead of you know. Having an entire section, like an entire area for kids, it's just oh, there's tables, there's a dance mat right there, and there's no um, arcades. Basically, that ba imagine it just sort of like a generic like hangout for teenagers, but with Chuck E. Cheese characters thrown around. Uh, yeah, I mean no. the company was bought by someone. I mean the company was apparently bought by someone else, and they went, let's oh. try to cut corners. Oh, he fell over. Is he gonna become Super Shredder? Uh, some, something, no. something that I, uh, something that I will mention is that Chuck E. Cheese pizza has never been really great. Like even compared, like even just compared to other like chain pizzas. No, yeah, not really. No, we did. Um, yeah, because like there is a pair. Because at work, there they do sell Chuck E. Cheese pizzas, and I bought one just out of curiosity. Hilarious. Yeah, like I bought it. I bought that one along with a freshetta. I preferred the freshetta over the Chuck E. Cheese pizza any day. If I may, I actually have to disagree with you guys on that. The okay. Chuck E. Cheese pizza is actually pretty good compared to certain chains. Janello's being the number one on that list. Mm hmm. I don't think I've heard of that one. I'm, I'm very, very against Janello's pizza after the uh, time that their pizza actually gave me such a bad stomach ache oh. that I was sick for an entire week. Oh. Uh, Anybody else think that the uh, that Shredder was easier to beat than Krang? Yeah! <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> Turtle power. Wait, are we replaying the stages? 
Yes, this is how arcade games worked. It's like you won. Play it again. Like it, exactly. It I need more lives. No, you don't. Rise, <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> no, your parents have to pay mortgage. Yeah. No, I am done. <laughs>